So as a Roblox developer you can now boost your offering by integrating Giftoin's loyalty, leveling and XP systems which are all designed to increase players engagement and screen time. Hi everybody, my name is Reem and today I'll be teaching you how you could integrate Giftoin with your Roblox game. Setting up Giftoin's API is fast and easy. You can create point systems, leveling and custom loyalty rewards that seamlessly integrate with your Roblox game. This API script is all you need. And of course that we also provide you with the API key. I will now show you our custom dashboard and of course how you could get your own API key from the dashboard. As you can see we are currently in Giftoin's dashboard and to find your API key all you need to do is press the settings, press on the account button and you'll be directed to this window right in front of you. In this window you can find the API key. To reveal it all you need to do is click the eye icon. It's hidden because it is not to be shared with anybody but if you trust a person enough then up to you. So in our dashboard there is plenty of features that we provide our customers with but I want to go ahead and show you some of them. The first feature I want to go ahead and show you is the rewards. This feature allows you to create your own unique rewards. These rewards will only be given to players upon completing a collection. When making the reward you'd be able to select the name of the reward, the description, the redeem type and even the display picture that will be shown. After doing that you'd be able to import your own unique codes for your players to redeem. This next feature allows you to make your own unique cards collections. Upon creating the collection you'd be able to decide the name of the collection, the description of it, the picture displaying the collection, the number of cards being a maximum of 12 and of course the name and the description along with the picture displayed for each card individually. The next feature I want to go ahead and show you is the programs. You'd be able to select the name of the program, the description of it, along with a starting and ending date. Program is basically connecting between the rewards and the collection of cards that you've created so far. In here you'd be able to select which cards you want to use for this program from those you've created so far, and then the rewards. After choosing the collection of cards you'd be able to select the reward you want to use, and that's it. Your program is basically done. The last option I want to go ahead and show you is the campaigns. Upon creating a new campaign, you decide how you want your players to receive the cards. As an example, I would be using random collectibles, meaning one random card at a time, but there is a variety of options you can choose from. In the making of your new campaign, there is plenty of details you can change and choose from to make sure it's your own unique design and branded campaign. In the campaign making, you also have the option to set the probability for each single card you've created so far. The cards you've selected must be from the same collection and the total must be equal to 100%. After selecting all the cards you've wanted to use, setting the probability for each one of them and filling all the small details in this window, your campaign is pretty much done. Now I want to go ahead and show you how it looks. So as you can see we are currently in the wallet, that's what every single player is going to see and if you scroll down that's where you'd be able to find all the collections and things we've created so far. Upon clicking on the view collection button we can see all the cards that we need to collect in order to claim the reward that is being displayed on the screen. As you can see the cards are currently grey indicating that we don't own any of them but once we collect them they will turn into a colorful picture. The next thing I want to go over is how you can open your gifts and start collecting cards. So once you receive a card, you can open it by clicking open gift. It will appear in your wallet as a gift but once you open it, it will give you a card based on what you chose in the campaign. So upon opening a gift and receiving a card, you will be able to see it immediately in your inventory tab. Now if you navigate to the inventory tab and click the send button right below the picture of the card, you have the option to send the card to a person using their email or their discord ID, giving the players an option to trade with other people in exchange for cards that they do not own or need to complete a specific collection. Take your Roblox development to the next level with Giftoin, boost your engagement, increase your revenue and grow your business today. Schedule a demo today.